All right, we're going to do a little bit of a uh, <clears throat> chocolate milk thing before I go into what I'm doing and why. This is Promised Land, and I just found it for the first time at my giant. And one is Midnight Chocolate 2% Reduced Fat, and the other one is just Midnight Chocolate. So, Reduced Fat first, which is the one I started. Mmm. That over liquor any day. I'm going to go to a chocolate milk bar and just get wasted on just non-alcoholic chocolate milk. That is so much thicker. Honestly though, <clears throat> give me the reduced fat. Just, just because I think I could drink more of it. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? All this stuff here was purchased just now to make chicken pot pie. Here's pot, here's pie pan, which is nasty because it's been under my sink. Wash that. But not just any pot pie. No, no, nay, nay. You see, I was informed, and I would say by a close friend, but it's more like a shit friend, ass face, that Alton Brown's individual chicken pot pie with puff pastry, which involves all those ingredients, and I had to buy everything that I didn't have, but I'm not making the pie crust, the pastry crust, because you don't make the pastry crust for Alton Brown's famous chicken pot pie. You make his southern biscuit mix, and you use that as the pot pie cover. And that's another thing. Alton Brown only uses it on top. He doesn't have a bottom crust in his pot pie. And... I'm running out of ideas, so I'm like, all right, you know what? Maybe I'll follow a recipe to the letter, which is not very Z Cooks. But if you're gonna follow anyone's recipe, it better be goddamn Alton Brown's, which, if you don't know who Alton Brown is, and you haven't seen Good Eats, stop what you're doing. There's 14 seasons. Go find them and watch them and then come back. I'll wait. Things I had to buy today. Everything else in that list, I, I have. I have salt. I had, well, I had salt. Baking powder, baking soda, all-purpose flour. I have some up there, but I'm not sure I have enough. Cute. Tarragon. Now, the only thing I couldn't find in that list was fresh tarragon. I was able to get fresh thyme, and shit, do I have fucking, fuck, fuck. I mean, do I have dried thyme? I didn't even, it just, I was so obsessed looking for tarragon, so I had to buy... If you don't have any of this stuff lying around, see, there's a website I found that does recipes by the cost, like cost of the serving size. So it's like, oh, a pot pie. You could do that for $6.22. And that's fucking great if a market will sell you a teaspoon of tarragon. But they don't. They sell you a $4 bottle of tarragon, which if you didn't have, that ingredient, as far as I'm concerned, costs you $4. So... You could all add up with the, with the not unsalted butter, the buttermilk, because obviously I can't buy a cup of it. It's the smallest like increment of buttermilk I could find. And it's like, get two carrots. Well, I just got these carrots and get this and this and this. And it said chicken thighs, boneless, which I got. But I also got the tenderloins. So I'm going to do sort of a mix of, of light and dark meat. So I don't know how much this whole pot pie is going to cost. It probably cost me about $40, though. Just to, like, come out. I mean, this is... 650 and that's 550 I got to get 2% milk I usually use whole and I just said alright screw it I won't go whole for this week I'll just do 2% so that's partially not celery I don't really like eat celery but I mean I like celery is alright it's alright I can make egg salad and put some celery in it it's fine frozen peas which Are these not frozen green peas yeah no they're not frozen. they're actually uncooked peas that's weird. Whatever. Point is, I had to buy all this shit. We're going to make that pot pie, but the thing I'm going to change is, I'm going to put a bottom crust, which means the first thing I'm doing, and I'm going to stop this video, put things away so they don't just get messy. I'm going to make the biscuit dough, lay the bottom of this out, bake this so that it gets, I don't know how, I'm going to try to make it thin, 
And then we're gonna make the filling, which I have, I'm gonna read instructions, make the filling, which is gonna involve all this stuff. We're gonna plop it in there, and I'm gonna make the rest of the, of the biscuit batter and put it on top. And um, I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be a fucking pot pie. It's an Alton Brown Zio's combo pot pie. It's gonna be better, stronger, built to hurt. We'll see what's happening in like, I don't know, an hour. It's 6.40 at night, and it's way too late to be starting this, but I'm starting it. It comes. I'm not even doing it, I'm doing nothing. You were there calmly for 10 minutes while I was doing nothing. Preheat oven to 450 degrees, and on a large mixing bowl, do things. Ugh. I wanna show you something, everybody, look. Look, measuring spoon. That one never gets clean. I will need these, I think, for stuff. Now I need two cups. Now my only two cup measure is this thing, so I don't know if that's the way it goes down. Let's see how much flour I have left in this. Now this is again the biscuit thing I'm doing on the bottom. Which again, I will tell you, I have no idea how this is gonna work. If it's gonna come out good, bad. Even, even the alternate recipe where you use the, the biscuits as a topping, they don't put it on the bottom. But I'm a huge fan, not just in girth, but in like amount of, I, I like the bottom of my pot pie to, I'm gonna scrape it up and it has all the absorption of the, mmm. It's so, mmm. So, mmm, down there. So let's get this up to two cups. And I'm just gonna follow the recipe. I'm not gonna try to half it or anything. Worst comes to worst, I have extra stuff or not enough stuff. Again, that's another possibility. We're in, we're in very charted, yet very uncharted territory. Where there is a fully written and review, well-reviewed recipe that I'm moderately trying to follow 100%, but I'm just doing it wrong because Zio's doesn't do shit right. That is two cups. And a little bit flew out because fuck it. Stop looking so sad. All right, what am I combining? Uh, flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. So flour is two cups, baking powder is four teaspoons. I'm sure four teaspoons is one tablespoon, but no, better not. I'm baking, that's baking powder, which is this stuff. Reduce sodium and aluminum free, damn it. Hey, I was taught how to use this. Let's see, we go, we go scoop and then you scrape, so it's level. One, two, three, I can count, four, yeah! Four, my lucky number! Actually, my favorite number is 86 and I don't know why. Whew. All right, uh, flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. A uh, baking soda is a quarter teaspoon. I love how this is the quarter teaspoon and this is four teaspoons. I love how that's the size difference. So this I'm gonna just, I guess, try to do a thing. Am I gonna try to, I'm trying to do a thing. I think that was good. I'm gonna I'm gonna call that as good. It might have been a little low, but I mean, how accurate is baking up to be? Come on, guys. Come on, really. And then salt, three quarters of a teaspoon. And I, of course, am not gonna be using iodized salt. I'm gonna be using non-iodized regular salt. You sons of bitches, sister and cousin. So do I do a half and then a quarter? I think I'm gonna do that because it seems more efficient. And that's a half. See, this is baking. See, I'm not baking though because of them. I'm baking because of Alton Brown, the man who got me started on food. Honestly, like, I, I don't think I cooked before I saw the very first episode of Good Eats where you made steak. I don't know what I did. Mac and cheese. So these things are all done. I think I need flour for something in the actual pot pie. So we'll leave that alone. 
It's okay. Blah, 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 blah. The oven's preheating, by the way, to 450. <sighs> Using your fingertips, rub butter and shortening into dry ingredients until the mixture looks like crumbs. I'm using my fingertips, these, these fingertips here, which are currently covered in cat juice. She's not actually wet, but I'm going to assume that she could be juice. And if your cat isn't clean enough to eat off of, then you should probably get another cat. And also you want to dry your hands really good. So now I need the shortening. See, this is stuff I didn't buy. Shortening and butter, because I have shorten... Oh, Jesus. Come on. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Oh. Yeah. Favorite thing to fry in, you should know that if you follow this channel. How much shortening am I putting in this, you bitch? Two tablespoons. Now, here's where things get messy, because... Is that a tablespoon? Is that a tablespoon? I don't know. I'm getting a strange feeling that this is going to be just like a... Like, a, yeah, like that's about it. So and then, then it's ruin everything. This doesn't have to, the biggest on this is what? Well, one tablespoon, it is one tablespoon. I'm assuming level. I'm gonna use this spoon. So I'm gonna have to get my hands dirty at one point. Let me get the butter out before I do that. And I'm gonna be using, it doesn't say unsalted butter. The other recipe specifically says unsalted butter. This just says butter. So we'll see how this is gonna work out. It could work, could be terrifying. So that's, I feel like I'm four and I'm in play, preschool. This is a, this is horrible. This is a horrible fucking, I hate baking. Ah! Now get out of this. I'm gonna use my finger, here we go. That's one. If level is tablespoon, then I just did one it's gonna take me an hour to clean this spoon, this metal spoon. Trust me, baby, you don't want me to touch you now. Right, there's two. Oh, God. Coconut soup. As hot as you can get it, boys, before you burn yourself, just to melt that shortening off. It's just not, it's the best sex lube ever, I guarantee it. Baby, get the Crisco. Mm. Actually, I think I've discussed better sex lubes made of food. I don't remember what videos. You're gonna have to watch them all. Okay, so that's two tablespoons of shortening. And now I need two tablespoons of butter. Now, usually butter has like a measurement thing. The faster the, but the better. You don't want this, the you don't want the fats to melt. You see, that's the problem. I didn't leave the butter out. We're back at that same issue where this is cold butter and I could microwave it. I'm going to have to microwave it. It's got to soften up. That's a clean thing. I know that for a fact. And how much am I measuring? Oh, that's about it. Boom. Did you see me measure that? It was great. Take up my smallest little knife. One. Actually, is that a tablespoon? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. Is that two tablespoons? I'm getting the strange feeling that it's butter. She's just, she's loving in a way that, you know. Manson was loving. Not Marilyn Manson. Manson Manson. All right, I'm going to leave a little bit of that butter out. I'm going to microwave this, I guess, slowly. They said you don't want the fats to melt, so. But that's... Okay. All right, the faster the better. You don't want the fats to melt. Make a, we make a well in the center and pour in the chilled buttermilk. So I have to take my chilled buttermilk and one cup of that. And it's in the fridge, so it's chilled. This is how recipes work. You gotta have a screen. I actually have my tablet there and I could have that up on my tablet, but I'm stupid. Okay, that's, well, that's definitely soft. That's almost ready to be poured on my goddamn uh, 
popped one. That was 19 or it's 23 seconds worth. All right. I love how I got to do this by hand too. It's not hot. It's just melted. And now I'm doing this apparently until I get what consistency? Looks like crumbs. The oven just preheated. That's a good sign. I'm sort of feeling this change a bit. I could just be playing with my food right now. Ventrilo's on, and they're all farting at me. Why Ventrilo and not TeamSpeak or Discord or Mumble? Because GSM codec. It's just, we've done testing. Every year we do testing. And every year, GSM 610, 16-bit, however many kilohertz is, you can handle, just is... Actually, it's turning into like crumbs. Interesting. Do a little more kneading, I think. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting somewhere, sort of. Of course, now I'm going to have a hand that's all crummy. And then i got to go find buttermilk. Buttermilk. And there's my measuring cup. I need you. Should we keep track of how many things I've dirtied to make this pot pie? Because so far it's only measuring spoons. A regular spoon, which I probably didn't need to dirty. So I'm just not going to count that. It's measuring spoons, a mixing bowl, and you need something to soften the butter. So I'm going to go with that. This is actually like turning to crumbs. I'm actually feeling it now. Let's see if it can work. Am I... Am I a drummer? Drummers can do two things at the same time with different rhythms, which makes them weird. But chicks always go for the drummer. And that is definitely one cup exactly of chilled buttermilk. What I'm going to do with the rest of this buttermilk... Pancakes tomorrow? Okay, I've, I've got a crummy consistency. Yes. Now what did it say? Okay. Uh, make a well in the center and pour in the chilled buttermilk. Stir until the dough comes together. The dough will stay very sticky. Turn dough into floured surface. Uh, gentle fold dough over five or six times. Press into one inch thick. See, I'm not pressing into one inch six rounds. With a cookie cutter, ba 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 ba. Skip, 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 skip. Fifteen to twenty minutes. All right. What I'm gonna need to do. A is move the chicken off the vent for the fucking stove. Just, oh my god, it's hot under there. All my fresh ingredients have to move just over. Chewbacca, I'm making a well. This is going to be a well of chilled buttermilk. I love how, like, at the end of this video, you can just see the fucking terminal spamming you know, the Ow, 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 hot water! Hot! Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to shut off vent. We'll see what they talk about. Sometimes it gets interesting. I'm assuming to turn, I'm going to use this. It should stay very sticky, they said. Dude, I'm following instructions. I haven't followed a recipe recipe in forever. That already smells amazing. Dude, what if I become like one of those boring cooks on the internet that doesn't talk about dogs with herpes? Look at once the game's up. And oh, running, that is real sticky. You see this terminal spamming. Yes. Not implemented, not implemented, not implemented. Okay, move that. I needed a floured surface, so that means a big cutting board like this. I'm probably going to put this away. I don't need you till, well, maybe tomorrow. These things can stay out. I'm pretty sure the Crisco is done too, but I don't want to do that now. Dirty, 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 dirty. <laughs> real chefs always do things real fast, and I think when you're not a professional, you tend to work slower, and it's worse. Like when you see the chef sharpen a knife and it's like shh, shh when you go like ah, oh, and that's probably not as good. All right, so I've turned this. It's gonna stay very sticky. 
flowered surface, dust top of flower, and gently fold over itself five or six times. Okay, clear this off. Put that down in the butter thing. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Cheese who gave me all these recipes and, like, hey, do this. Who apparently knows about this, but he's he doesn't eat because he's super poor. He lives in a basement with spiders. Spoders. Okay. That. I guess I'm going to do this. I'm going to send him some pot pie. You can't afford pot pie. It's $40 in groceries that I didn't have. Okay. Spread it out. I'm assuming we're just spreading and then folding. I'm going to flip this over actually first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now both hands are involved, so that's just a fucking disaster. Now, normally we would be making biscuits with this, where I would biscuit up a biscuit thing. And I think what we what we do when we fold it here is actually make the layers, like the biscuit layers. This is fun. This is like playing with dough. It's just like playing with dough. Now, I'm going to attempt to take half of this save it for the top and the other half put a thin layer on the bottom of the round dish which is drying because I cleaned it. So let's separate half of this now. Exactly half. You can come go. You could stay. Actually the bottom's got to be a little bit bigger because we're going up the sides and the top is just the dough top. Guess where you're staying? Right there. Now you. I find it hilarious that you can counter a uh, doofus meteor strike with another meteor strike, just casting it right after they. Once you see the red collection. Overwatch like, bullshit. If you cast your own, you can just fucking kill them. Now, do I want to spray anything? I this, here's here's I don't I don't know what to do here, so I'm gonna do stuff I really guess I need to do. Get this out. You want to make a competitive game that only really works for like fucking three k So I should only need to go up to like there, and then I'll work back to the holes in the center. There's a lot of extra here. I could push this down. So this is going to go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes, as if it's not in a pie crust. I'm gonna see how much this rises. Six viable characters. God. The nerf on Roadhog was fucking retarded. I'll give you that. Look at that corner, like pushed in. Okay. Ready? I'm gonna set my alarm for 10 minutes. And then I'll judge how much I need off of that because this is again, all brand new. No one's ever done this on camera. I actually wonder if you can find another video where someone has done biscuit dough for their pot pie crust on the bottom. Link it. Link it in the description. It'll get, it'll get spam blocked, but I'll unblock it. Glasses from chocolate milk. Try not to get this too messed up. Be back. You know what I hate when there's no break in the cooking. So uh, there's a minute and a half left before 10 minutes is out, and then I realized I should probably be making the actual stuffing for the pot pie. I don't have to wait for this to be done. So I got the tablet. Oh god. You know what sucks about every Android thing is that you could lock it vertical, but you can't lock it horizontal. So now it's just going to do that every time I like accidentally lay it down. Okay. Here's all the ingredients for the, uh, for it. Look at that. Look at that giant pile of shit. Okay. You're staying. I hope you're still going to be dough. I don't know how this works. Maybe I should cover that. I feel like covering that would be beneficial to all parties. So moisture stays, doesn't dry out. I don't know. That that just seems like a good idea. 10-inch skillet 
For the filling, which is what I'm, all I'm interested in is the filling. Place one tablespoon of vegetable oil. That's probably a tablespoon. That's vegetable and that's olive, by the way. And a canton set over high heat until it shimmers. And you all know my oven, so that means this cast iron pot will be shimmering in about 90 seconds. Add the chicken, comma, season with one teaspoon of salt and cook, stirring occasion until the chicken is no longer pink on the outside, but not dry. Four to six minutes. Remove the chicken. Okay. So we're doing chicken now. So your, see, it did a thing. It's the G units. Too many G units. What that means is I've got to move you again. And I got to actually open the chicken. So, so glad I didn't clean up. I'm starting another 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Need at least another five. I'm gonna have to eyeball that. It means you, internet, have to remind me, and that's gonna kind of involve time travel and you know passing through space time and shit. I might as well take this cutting board that I just cleaned back out because I have lots of chicken. That one's a little cleaner. If it's gonna slide, you get a moist paper towel and put it down. And then don't do shit. <coughs> it also calls for a pound and a half chicken this is two and a half pounds and I want to use white meat also so that means probably gonna get like three of these the rest I could make for lunch tomorrow and then I'm gonna use how much is this one pound exactly Ugh. I want extra chicken in my pot pie my pot pie has never had enough chicken how about you and I got the tenderloins you know why because they're tender and they're loins Oh, by the way, my garbage pail broke, so now I'm using a magazine. I'm using a Bon Appetit magazine to keep it closed. Because this is the Z Kitchen. I just want to point out also, that's the other thing Jay could be talking about, is that his Simply Human $100 fucking garbage can also broke. And he had to jerry-rig it up. So, his and mine lasted exactly the same amount of time. I'm supposed to cut these into little cubes. Whatever you want to eat in your, in your chicken pot pile. That might be too big. Let's make that smaller. I'll cut these first because they're easier. And I could be cleaning like these little, like that. I should, ow, my god, that's like a goddamn, what is that? Part of the chicken structure is this. It should not be in my pot pie. It's like cartilage bone. See, now my that pan's going to get to a trillion degrees before I'm ready. Where is it? That's what one piece doing, and that's this piece. You hold off. Get the rest of this cut. Oof, that uppercut. Fucking got that ass. Got him. Ding. Okay. There's chick there's white meat chicken. That's nasty stuff. What can I put nasty stuff? I guess just there. You're doing weird things, so I'm just gonna disembowel you. Okay. Now this is really needs to be trimmed. You do not want to have this in your pot pie. So I'm just going to be real blunt with it, since I have so much chicken anyway, and I'm running out of time. I don't have all the time in the world. I got a pot heating up, or a pan. Just get this fat off of there. I got three of these to do also. Come on. Flip over, cut. You deal with enough dead animals after a while, you just start knowing how to destroy their bodies efficiently. That's a huge piece of fat. Don't cut your hands off, by the way. Human blood does not improve a dish. If there is a dish you know of where human blood from, like, human meat, I guess, improves it, please tell me about it in the comments. Funniest one will get upvoted and pinned. I'm talking about a full. Don't don't be like I don't know chicken with body parts. No, get get into it, man. Channel that fucking. Uh, what was the what's the woman on? What's the racist woman on Food Network? Channel her. But add human being carcasses into the mix. So now let's go strips. That that pans. I could tell already it's hot as shit. And now we're going to do cubes or whatever the hell you'd call, like, that shape. I 
Actually, I'm cutting with the grain there. And then we turn. Throw it not on the floor. Chewbacca will, will look at it, but she won't eat it. And then if she doesn't eat it, then it stinks. It's the problem with cats nowadays. They don't eat all your disgusting food that you drop. They're so prissy. That's not bad. I occasionally do like a long piece of chicken. Yes. Now, what was I seasoning with? My hands are a mess, so I'm just going to scroll down on the TV. Season with one teaspoon of salt and cook stirring. So that's it. So just salting this. That's hot. Guess what? We found the smoke point on seven. That should be plenty. I'm gonna whip out my um, wooden spoon in a second. Ladies. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Then back up a little bit. Open my garbage can. Ugh. That garbage can's gonna stink real soon. Gotta go out tonight. All right, uh, decrease the heat in a medium heat and remain tablespoon of vegetable in the skillet until it shivers. Add the onions, mushrooms, and carrots. Fuck! Read the entire thing because I have to cut up everything else in the interim. I'm not even cutting the, cleaning the cutting board because we're gonna cook all this shit anyway. Is that safe? I'm sure I should get another cutting board to cut all this other stuff up after I did chicken in it. Like Jay said in the intro, the new intro video, don't cook like Z does. Cook like Jay does, but enjoy, but want to cook what I cook. Just you will die from it. I've built up an immunity over the years. If you want to be real disgusting, that, that, that is, even I feel bad for just doing that. There's a clean side and it is going down on paper towels, so how do I want to do this? I'm going to do, see I fucked up already, I shouldn't have cut the end off, I'm going to try to leave this as a hole, this is not going to work, oh it's failed already, nope, fucked it up, fucked it up bad, this is the wrong knife for this job too, floor is clean, shut up, get some chopping action out of this, this is supposed to be tiny, but I guess, you know, this is my pot pie. I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. Shit, I gotta cut the carrots up and everything. Oh. Remember, I was supposed to remember that? I remember. I remember. Shutting that off. That actually looks. It's not terrible. Considering it's going to be soaked underneath like a liquid base, it's probably perfect. That was 19 minutes, by the way. Just under 19 minutes. Alright, time to read the blow up font. 
in Firefox, you get no squint and you could do that. Just the font or the whole page. Read for the filling. One teaspoon. I read that already. Next. Scroll down. Mushrooms, carrots, celery, garlic, and half a teaspoon of salt, black pepper, dried thyme, and dried tarragon. Continue to stir. So when does the fresh shit go in there? So basically everything that's here is going in there. Am I measuring is the question. How is this all supposed to fit a 10 inch skillet? This is like an eight inch skillet with super high sides. A 10 inch skillet would, would... Right. I think we're just about ready. I'm gonna lower this down. Hold that. So everything's gotta go in. So it's just basically now I'm now I'm in a goddamn rush. That was one onion. I have a 970 here. I'm doing the whole thing. I feel like that's too much onion. I feel like that is probably all the onion I want in my pot pie. I got a bowl. And it's gonna actually I'm gonna get a container that I can actually freeze. Well not freeze, but put away. I don't know. Just this is I'm just now now you don't know how much to use. Just just less. Less than an entire onion. I'm not making onion soup, I'm making a pot pie. That's there. The mushrooms. I both. These are already washed, so we're just gonna go like Ah, screw it. We're gonna go with ah, screw it amounts. The peas. Now, these are hard peas. I must have fucked up. I gotta cook these peas, don't I? I don't know how to cook peas. I should have got frozen peas. These are literally like. I mean, will these cook? I don't know. There. I feel like those are just too hard to add directly to this. Leave everything alone. Carrot, celery, thyme. So thyme. I have no idea how this works. Honest to God, first time I bought fresh herbs for anything. Do I just pull up the leaves? Oh, it smells fucking good though. I'm just gonna do that. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Honest to God, I have no idea. Just, just, Honest to, to out, honest to brown, honest to brown. But I feel bad for not knowing, like I've seen, I actually, I probably have not seen every episode of Good Eats. I've seen more than half for sure though. I'm just gonna rip them off. I feel like I ripped the leaves off like that, it'll be the way I go. Boom. Okay, the rest of you can just hang the fuck out. Make my refrigerator smell nice. Carrots, Kekarots. Nice sharp knife. Now, I know exactly the kind of carrots I like in my pot pie. They're gonna be like those. So as many of those as I could form before the food starts burning behind me. Five minutes. Melt the butter and add the butter and melt. Stir in flour, cook for one, two minutes. So I got time, all right. This feels like I should be going back to that chopping utensil I just had. Where is it? Spin 360 degrees. And if that isn't the way Z does it. In the comments, if you cook similar to me, I mean, you're obviously not talking with the camera in your head like an idiot, but, um,. Like, if the confusion and shit is what yours is like, tell me, because I feel like I'm very confused in the kitchen. How many carrots I do I have? I kind of circled my fucking chair like six times trying to figure out how to jump up here. Four. I like carrots. Carrots are good. Peas are They're also good, good which is why I'm shit. concerned about those peas, or else I would just skip them. When I think of like pot pie though, I don't think of like a whole onion. Can I do five at a time? Can I be a boss? It's gonna be hard. Especially with their different 
consistencies. It's not bad actually. All right, a couple more. For that amount, with that amount of chicken. Dude, is that even gonna fit in my pot? Is that gonna fit in there? Oh my God, I'm using like, that was the exact right amount of mushrooms. That's the one thing I know. So if I'm basing this, like the, the quantities of everything off of what they asked me to, I need minced, minced garlic, celery stalks. I gotta cut some celery stalks too. I'm calling that for onion. I'm calling that for carrots. Carrots are called. I'll organize this later. Just I ain't got time to bleed. Resealable bag, thank God. Nothing. Nothing coming. Do I have to cut this? Good. So I always call the fucking ton of shit. I'm gonna try it out after. But it doesn't seem like that bad anymore. Fucking ton of shit. Come on. Now this says chop up two stalks, so let's just grab two. I want to drink more of that chocolate milk and Sunny D. Right. There we go. We're gonna give this a stir. This is not a big enough pan. I mean, this isn't a tiny pan. Is it 10 inch? No, but dude, just no. I gotta transfer this out of this cast iron. That's like sacrilege as far as I'm concerned, because cast iron is like, cast iron is law. These assholes are one of the reasons I was able to move out here. Because when you move to a new place, you got no friends. But who the fuck needs new friends? I got the same friends forever. We live on the internet. And the internet never moves. Remember that. Who's dying? So, but eventually, it got up and walked around. Ate some sugar because blood sugar is a thing. Yeah. Okay. You're done. You're done. How many carrots and celery stalks are going to end up on my floor? I bet shit like that happened. I. I Last time that happened to me, I went and scared of the doctor. They did a full fucking echocardiogram and tre treadmill tests on me. Didn't find anything else wrong. Nothing. Just random fucking bullshit that happened. A Okay. Salt. Vessel and you're fucking. You get all pins and needles and then it breaks free and it's like, oh, better. What sucks is that it's all this shit is just random. Process has crashed. Vegetable oil, fine. Chicken, fine. Kosher salt, two and a half teaspoons. All right, put this down. That's got to be enough. Yellow onion, done. Streaming mushrooms, done. Actually, there's a different type of mushrooms, but I couldn't find mushrooms. Carrots, peeled, quarter inch thick slices, yes. Celery stalks, yes. Cloves of garlic, minced. I'm sure Statistically, my doctor will be way better than here. Uh. Why am I? I really gotta find a local doctor. I haven't found a general practice. There's a little bit there, and there's a little bit there. That's, that's fucking plenty. Oh, it's dirty again. Another dirty thing. It's pricey, but goddamn it's worth it. Wait. Black, black pepper, thyme, tarragon, unsalted butter. All right, so yeah, black see, pepper, easy. This shit, which I'm gonna have to add more than normal because I don't have the fresh stuff. After years of having goddamn Navy Corman fucking around trying to draw blood for me, having a goddamn professional do it immediately with basically no pain at all. Yeah, last time I went to Kaiser, 
My dumbass didn't say no. You like how we're measuring now? It, it's broken down. It's, it's broken completely down. Because we're not doing baking at this point. All right. Unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. I'm gonna stir this again. This is so small. This pan for the, this is not a big enough pie crust. I didn't. I thought it would be. I might be putting half this away. I might have to make two goddamn chicken pot pies. These are. This is the instructions that I'm following. Ow! 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 That's hot. Unsalted butter. How much do they want of that? Doc, I swear to God, if you miss my artery one more time, this slap you so fucking hard, you'll be able to taste this. Two ounces. Nope. Ounces. That's my favorite part. Ounces. All right, chicken broth, 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 broth. I need this. I need this. I'm going to need chicken broth at some point. It says low sodium, and I totally didn't buy low sodium. So my bad. How much? Two cups. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. If you're really fat, I suggest just drinking chicken broth. It'll be boss. So now I'm also gonna need three ounces of all-purpose flour. Oh, I have a thing. I have a thing. Hold up. We're gonna go full out and brown here. We're a dirty a thing just to measure. That's you. On. Yes, I know, baby. Look at this fucking work surface. How much butter do I need? Two ounces? Of unsalted. So let's assume that that's two ounces that's not even one ounce jesus so that's dude it's it's just me. under i've been doing this job i haven't had a cubicle job in years and i've been doing this for about a year and a couple months now 2.1 good enough atrophy is so real okay like, and like you go and you read the studies like even if you exercise fucking before and after work sitting for eight for eight hours you're just gonna die you're just taking years off your life like oh god oh, yeah. Um, three ounces of all-purpose uh, flour, so I do this, tear that, so it says zero. Okay. So now that's not being calculated, now I got three ounces of this. Flushed your ass for doing manual labor all day and died of some other causes. That's the first bit. Damn, three ounces of flour is a lot of flour. Jump at a rolling hay hay bale <laughs> down a hill towards you. <laughs> I would just, just jump at one of those bales. That's three point two. So it's, let's uh, undo that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Flour is expensive. To save the shit. Like, oh, yeah, Here's three point oh. Range of motion, real, real good. But uh, your back can get up. I so. we're, making, we're starting to pile up dishes now, and I'm still worried about the crust. So Do I have to fucking pre? Do the oven too? I guess the oven's gotta get preheated as well, but I don't know where. Check my stuff. I think I may have to go to my bigger pan. This is just... Oh yeah, look at that. You have to do jerking, fast jerking motion. That's too hot. Chicken escaped. Any people. That's the space that I was looking for. Sorry, cast iron. I needed either a bigger cast iron or just letting chicken. Almost there. Jesus, I need a giant fucking. What am I gonna do with this? I don't have half the stuff in it. Three minutes, remove the skillet from heat. Peas, thyme, tarragon, and reserved chicken. What reserved chicken? I didn't reserve chicken. Alright, here's what we're doing. 
Logo Put this back up. I'm gonna throw yes. this shit in here. At this point, I'm starting to free flow because it's just like words. Too much to think about. At least I have measurements and words. I see a yield. My father was an enemy. I'm gonna clear a spot in the middle. We're gonna get that butter melted right there. And then. Where was the two cups of stuff? Just tell me it's not real. That is a real thing. Wow. Where is the stuff? Alright. No. Looks like there's a Jeep down the road. It's just south. Uh, yeah, they're all to the south, pretty much. Immediate 416, I suppose. Mm -hmm. See, that's talking about the. I'm, I'm too far. It's talking about the cross, which I already have. Okay. So I'm just waiting for this to do its thing. That's hot too. Everything's too hot. Free. No. Make it a mess. Fuck them peas, bruh. I also shouldn't have water in my cast iron pan because rust. It'll just go away. All right, I'm gonna just drizzle these peas around the outside. Again, I really don't want that many peas. That feels like so many peas. That's plenty of peas, there you go. Onions and peas are in the reserve. I got reserve onions and reserve peas, no reserve chicken. There's our butter, melted nicely. This stuff, boom. Give it even a little more, a little more go, go juice. So we're gonna just start stirring this. Great movie. Uh, now I find it hilarious. One of the many, many broken things about this game is pretty much all of the melee weapons would be a one-shot kill if you were to get uh, like an actual shot off the melee. You didn't need to stop. Okay. They're uh, yes. that good. That's absorbing most of the liquid and all the butter. So now we're going to have to worry about the... What's it called? Take a cast iron fucking pan to the dome and you're dead. Turns out the skull is not meant to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what's happening. I can follow the instructions on any electronic device. I usually read the instructions straight through before I like do anything. Not here though. This is starting to look like it's gonna thicken up. The horrible organ. It turns out, Jimmy, that evolution doesn't make perfection. It makes good enough. All right. Let that come back to like a mild boil. Let's check this. See, that's nice. Oh, that's, that's rock hard on the bottom. That is... Oh, that's crispy. Got this. Oh, actually, look at it out. Boom! Biscuit crust. All right. That's nice. I have to make people 40 feet thick now. They're murdering each other with them. Why? Why? All right, dirty. I gotta get this cast iron pan fixed. It, is it hot as shit? It's still hot. I close that handle. That's how the rapture came. Ow. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't be in here. I shouldn't even be using like, I'm gonna use a soft end of this in fact. Best way to dry your uh, cast iron pan? In an oven. Yes. An already hot oven. Well, I'm going to hit this guy down here. Old diversity. We're all to the south. I thought no one came this way. 
Did I miss any ingredients? I don't think I did. I've got the butter, the flour, the carrots, the celery, the, the two spices, the salt, the pepper. Canadians, you could tell them. This is actually starting to look like a... This is way... That's how big the fucking pot pie would have to be. What is Alton Brown talking about? Even the amount of liquid doesn't make any sense. I mean, am I supposed to reduce it? Am I supposed to bring this to a full boil and reduce it to like a slurry? Let's go back to reading. It's one of the settings if you have a controller. Oh, okay. It's because I have a controller plugged in. Scale from the heat and stir in the peas, cover set aside for the crust. See, I don't want the crust. But if I'm, forget the crust. Shape it, forget it. Use a bench scraper to fold the dough. No. No. Egg wash. I do have to do an egg wash. I do want to do, do I want to do an egg wash? I do want to do an egg wash. I'm going to move my celery. Shut the fuck up. I agree. One egg. I want, I want to egg wash. How big was, how much water was in the egg wash? One tablespoon of water. Yeah, the wall's coming from the outside. Woo! That's a tree. I think the mirror did the tree. Yeah. Oh. Wheelie. Sweet wheelies, bro. Divide the warm pilling into four 16 ounce ramekins. And place the half sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Remove the paste pus tree from the refrigerator. Divide in half, return in half to refrigerator. Yeah, sprinkle cool. lightly with flour, roll, blah, 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 blah. Brush each dough round with egg wash. Place egg whites into brush top ramekin. Can make there, pastry 15 yeah, minutes. 400 degrees until the crust is 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to get this going back up. Literally everything I just read is nothing that's about to happen because fuck it. Now the teammates, two or three people know where we are. Never crack on the, on the edge. Always crack on a flat. Or you'll shove shell into the egg. Clean, 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 clean. That's my dough. That's that. I need uh, about that much water. That's fine. I don't have a brush. Shit. Yeah, I'm basically just, I'm just boiling my, my, my middle bit. I should really tr taste it. I'm not a huge fan of tasting while I'm cooking, and I should be, but I like to be surprised at the end. That's sort of like my test. It's getting nice and thick. I'm getting a nice thickness to this. The crust, this, 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 this is nice. It's just going to be about a third of what's in, maybe a third of what's in here before I put the... i got to make the round two. How big is it? Bigger than that by an inch all around. I'll use that as a template. Yes, rub my belly. I like this a lot. I'm gonna bite you. Exact amount. I might be a while now. Oh, 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 oh. How do you put on an egg wash without a brush? Wait! I'm remembering a brush. It's coming back to me. Why do I remember a brush? Do I remember a brush? Am I not remembering a brush? I got this cool beater though. I'm, I'm, no. No. While things are happening, start doing dishes. You'll feel better, trust me. Even if there's just like half of them done, that half will just be immensely, you'll be like eating and you'll be like, I don't have to get up and do all those dishes. I can just do the ones that were really nasty. My cup is not dirty, that's not dirty. This shit's clean. I already did hot water baths in this measuring cups. Good luck cooking channels that don't show washing dishes. The fuck are you supposed to watch? This is so annoying. This is mostly dry stuff except for the big ones. So those are clean and that had Crisco. This had butter melting in it. 
Yeah, we're gonna reduce that, let the pie crust do a thing while we're preheating. Then I can put away that chicken, which is probably getting soap splashed on it right now. This had things. Not chickeny things. Put away the raw chicken first, or last, or in the middle, right fucking now. I was gonna go small bag, but it's not worth it. This part's still clean. Put the entire thing in there and give it a shake. Booyah. Booyah there. Lift. <laughs> ah. You could skip through this bit, by the way. This is not interesting at all. Any other. AK 47. AK 47. The very best day is when you absolutely positively gotta kill every motherfucker in the room. Except no substitutes. I loaded the game, but I have no fucking This Might be a little bit too high. We're gonna go. We're just gonna keep going. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how much, why. I mean, if it's this is hot enough to say done. I just gotta bake the crust on top. So I'm gonna say off. That's definitely done. Whatever is in here is done. That's enough for fucking three or four full pot pies. It's like a Marie Calendar batch for like a dozen. Do 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 do. This is extra stuff. This is chicken going away. I still got ribs to make. Not today. What do we say to the god of ribs? Oh, not today. Had ribs yesterday. Had sous vide ribs yesterday. No video. Alright, I need this son of a bitch. I'm gonna try to get more. Oh, are you kidding me? Just no, it's gotta stay level. Thank God I didn't try to finish this in that cast iron. I'm gonna overstock the hell out of this, by the way. That's how Seals does it. I'm gonna make it touch the edges. That whole I don't I don't want to see any of that pie crust slash biscuit crust. I think we're at 400. Boom! Boom! More liquid. I want to get that liquid up in there. I want to soak that biscuit. I'm actually gonna taste this now to see if it needs salt. Because this is the last time you could add it. Otherwise, you'll be cutting open your pot pie and it's not gonna be salty. That's good. That's probably needs to be clean. Give me a goddamn baby fork. That is so fucking hot. Alright, you know what? Just a touch. And this is a uh, pink Himalayan salt. That's good. That stays. Your cat, you stay. I'm pretty sure I just cut gr vegetables on here. So I'm gonna wipe it down. Eat some tarragon, baby. Upside, I haven't crashed. Downside, it took fucking forever to hold it. Okay. I'll frozen. Let's see how well this hung out on my counter. I'm sure I should have refrigerated something my sister and cousin are gonna see this later and be like, You fucking idiot! That still feels good actually. Alright. 
Your loot's mad. Rain or shine. Problem is going to be moving a very thin biscuit dough over to the top of that without a burning myself and b ripping this like insanely. I'm going to have to poke it with holes, and I'm pretty sure I bake it for a while before I do the egg wash. Again, I don't bake. I don't know what's going on. Although I'm starting to feel like I should be making a pizza out of this biscuit pizza. I'm eyeballing that size right now because I'm going to have to stretch it to really get, get it going. I feel this is thicker. It's a me, a Mario. You got to feel it, Zios. You got to feel the Italian in you and you make, make the pizza dough. Oh yeah, you would do. You want to do it, Zios. You were doing it. Look at you a go. Do I egg wash it now? No, right? Say no. Say I don't egg wash it now. I do poke it though. Oh, actually, no, they do slit. They slit it. I want to re, re dirty another thing. One, two, three, let's get some more right here. Some real, like. Like Wolverine represent pie slits. Do I egg wash it now? No, I'm pretty sure I don't. It's gonna get shiny at the end. All right, that's gonna fuck me up because that's in the way. What? It is dry. You're down. You're touchable. Fifteen minutes on the clock. Actually, thirteen minutes on the clock. Always a little under. What you think? Just check. If you're two minutes away, you're two minutes away. So actually, I would only have gotten two entire pies out of all those ingredients. So half everything in the. I'm obviously linking those recipes in the description. Just half everything. If you want to have one normal pie, or chicken pot pie. Okay. Clean enough. I'll see you in 12 minutes. That was actually 20 minutes. 15 was not even near enough. There was no color happening. So this is 20 minutes. We're going to check it. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm going to do a little more. I'm going to like another minute or two of that getting brown and then I'm going to egg wash it with I guess just a paper towel we'll have to do. See, it used to be half sheets. Now this is like two thirds of a sheet. So when you take two, it's a it's one and a third sheets of paper towels. So you're throwing away more paper towels. So Jay was right. Jay was right. But I'd still rather have it than goddamn full sheets. Those are fully wasteful because I only need half so lots of the time. Sunny D. Mm. The mess is just its becoming pedantic. That's mostly garbage over there. I gotta throw that out. Mm. Another two minutes. Don't wanna shut this off. Two minutes, I'm gonna shut it off and edit that together. I don't know. Look, all the dishes are done. This towel gets abused. It's the pick up hot pans or just like wipe things down that, you know, just, just sweat. This should be good. I'm actually gonna give that a little bit of a, and leave that. And yeah, kitty puts. How did you know I was calling you? Do you know the word kitty? Puts. I'll give you some chicken. Actually, I have some chicken. All the leftover filling. Not a mushroom. God, it's fucking hot. Put it in your mouth for. I could bite little pieces off. That's yours. Do it.
This is still too hot. You don't put hot things in the fridge because then it just acts as a heater in your fridge and that's bad. Let it cool down the room temperature. You're not gonna get any cooler any faster. Let it sit out here, cool down the room temperature out here, and then remember to put it away. Actually, I don't even like dark. Actually, that's not, that is not a handle. That's like, the, that's, that's honestly how I like the perfect biscuit thing, so I'm just gonna assume that's good. I'm gonna remove the fork. I'm gonna quarter this so it fits. I'm just gonna go boom. Boomf. Oh yeah. Getting that boom. It's gonna be nice and shiny. All egg wash does is make it pretty. When I was in college, there was a um a pizzeria in our college. Like in it. Like they owned a spot. And it was Egyptian. It was an Egyptian run pizzeria, which I know. It was in Newark, so what do you want from me? But anyway, they egg washed all of their like calzones and stuff and it was so fucking pretty everything was fucking gorgeous i really wish this was a brush i feel like i'd be doing a much more satisfying job okay nice nice a nice a nice a... give that another minute just so it cooks the eggs you could make an om why am i rinsing that off Gotta figure out a way to make that garbage pail thing useful now. We're gonna just buy another $15 garbage pail. But why? How can magnets help me on this? I could certainly make it so the magnets hold it down. Actually, by the time I've washed this out, that should be the perfect amount of time for that egg wash to have set. And then I could pull that pot pie out and then I can shut off the camera because it's going to be hot as shit. We're going to have to wait. When your train board is full, by the way, those work great. I don't remember what I did with that. This was egg. Let's wash this. That was bad news, bears. Good, 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 good. Chris, go away. Look, I've actually managed, before I've eaten, I've cleaned the entirety of the mess I guess baking where do I put the baking soda and baking powder flour goes there I don't want to put it there this place is pretty full I just gonna do that move this and do this and that so that's there that's drying that's drying this tarragon has to go in here I wonder if I'm gonna use tarragon ever again I honestly, I don't even know what it tastes like or smells like. I just sprinkled it on because instructions blindly told me to. Flour there. Some pieces of celery. Those will be good in my garbage disposal. You got to use the garbage disposal, by the way, if you have one. I never had one before this. And if you don't use it, things get stuck in it. So you've got to like put apple cores and entire oranges down there. Okay, clear off. You off. Make sure you push the door down far enough you don't get burned. Oh yeah. A little more, actually. A little more. Mostly because I'm actually seeing yolk on the bottom of that, because I didn't apparently do the egg wash enough. But it's a hot oven. We're gonna leave it alone. I'll come back when I'm now that you've seen it. I'll come back when I'm cutting it, which is going to be after I take it out and let it rest for at least 15 minutes. By the way, it's 8.30. Yeah. Pete! Pete's brother Pete! On a podcast, it's fucking amazing. Nothing was better. Nothing was ever better on Nickelodeon than fucking The Adventures of Pete and Pete. And now they got a podcast, so I'll link that somewhere in the description. If I rewatch this, how am I serving? Uh, I'm probably going to go with Bowl for that beauty. Oh yeah. I have no idea how this turned out because the biscuit dough is on top. I'm hoping that it's cooked. If it's not, I don't want it to be browner than that, but it's pretty thin. I mean, it should be all right. What am I serving with? I got something better than this. Oh look, it's that spatula that no one fucking likes. 
Now, I didn't like pinch the, if I would have brought the bottom up and then I would have pinched the top down, this would have been like a complete pie. And it's not, so I could probably lift this up and look. Oh, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut it with a knife. A knife. Oh, water stains because Pennsylvania. New York doesn't water stain as bad. Oh, it's cutting so nice. I can feel the biscuit dough. How am I titling this video? Modified Alton Brown Dough Biscuits Pot Pie. So I like a normal pie crust. I'm okay with most normal pie crust, but his whole recipe didn't even call for bottom crust. And that's the that that crossed the line with me. Gotta have bottom crust for do it on a plate. I'm gonna be no 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 no. No 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 no. I would love to have a pie server. That's not gonna work either. So now I'm gonna try to get behind the crust. Oh. How much of a mess did I make? Look at the insides. Go! Now, if you are uh, in the Patreon, which the Z Cooks Consortium Patreon is different from the Z Reviews Patreon. If you're in the Z Cooks Consortium Patreon for $5, you get into the special Z Cooks Consortium chat. And those people know exactly what's going on. Where are they? They know exactly what's going on and they're getting updates regularly. So let's give them, let's give them a shot of that. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna take a shot of that. Then I'm gonna back way out and take a shot. And I could probably use that as a thumbnail. So if you want to support the cause of giving us reasons to cook on camera, my sister, myself, and my cousin. Mm. Boom. I'm gonna scoop some more of that in there. I'm gonna start dirtying, re-dirtying all this stuff. That is obviously just not the right utensil. Everything appears to be correct, however. I don't know if shit's just falling out and that, that piece will have less, but mmm. Actually, what am I doing? Take the biggest spoon you got. That's hot. It's actually a little sweet. What am I tasting? Try the biscuit, the biscuit crust. Hmm. Biscuit crust, crust is all right. It's almost that's what's sweet. The biscuit crust. To analyze, prepare for analysis. I mean, we got good. Good fluffy crust here. Hmm. It's a different taste than I'm used to with my Popeyes. I've never homemade one, so this is all new to me. Maybe a little bit more salt than the actual filling. But all the vegetables and chicken came out perfect. And hot. All right. I'm going to the bottom crust. There it is. Look at that. Let's see how it came out because that's been double baked, exposed to a lot of heat. Mmm. I've had better pot pies, but I've never made one. So this is the best one I've ever made. Shibaki one pot pie. That's a week's worth of pot pie, by the way. At least, that, that'll be bad before I finish it. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go eat my pie. Hair pie. Perfect. Mm. Right, here's something I never do. This is the next day after making the pie. And I'm, I haven't encoded the video yet, so it's I could still add to it. I'm not impressed with this. I, I took a while. I, 
it was so much work and effort and it's just like oh yeah it's good and it's not it's 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 not it doesn't have i'm trying to think of the words the right amount of like it should hit you with like flavor oh god it's good homemade pot pie and I think it's partially the, the, uh, the, I think this could work. The biscuit crust. But it's a little bland. Everything's a little bland. Everything is just a little bland. That I don't, I didn't taste while I was cooking. And I'm not sure if that would have helped if I would have just kept adding salt as I was going. Because even like the consistency of the vegetables and stuff. I don't want to eat this. Like the leftover this. I don't want to come to it. Do you want to eat it? Wait, I'll find you some chicken. Chicken. Eat that. Like, the chicken's good. Everything individually is good. But as a whole, I am just not impressed by this. If someone brought this over, like, hey, made a pot pie, but like, eh. It tastes like, like someone asked me to describe, the person who told me to make it, I described to them as it tastes like what would have been a perfectly acceptable pie circa 1873 like this would have been like oh my god you got a mush you would have had everything but 2017 i don't know if my palate's different if i just want garbage do i just want butter just fill it with butter marie calendar pot pie those have like a texture to them they got something going on probably a lot more salt a lot more fat but mmm I don't know. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this a rest for like a month. I'm going to come back. I'm going to take what I've learned and what I know. I'm going to zeosify this fucking pot pie. So stay tuned for that. Because I, I may put mac and cheese in the goddamn thing. I don't know. I can go anywhere. Bacon. I'm not a big fan of putting bacon in things. Because once you put bacon in anything, it's just a bacon and whatever. No, it's a bacon and chicken pot pie. Because it's just bacon. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to make it, by all means, just, if you made it to the end of this video before you started cooking, which you should have done, just change it up a little bit. See if you can just get a little more cream, a little more salt, maybe some more butter, maybe some other vegetable that I wasn't, these are very home, you know, root vegetables. They absorb, they don't give off a lot of flavor. They all just absorb them. It really needed something to just, bam. Oh my god, jalapeno, chicken pot pie, mac and cheese. <gasps> okay, well, we'll get to that. I'm going to close this video now. Buck, 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 buck. Did she eat that? She better have eaten that.